welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I redid our kitchen island. And by that, I mean I just kind of did like somewhat of an accent wall in the kitchen island. Um, if you guys know, I hate our paint. Not the color. The color, as you guys can probably see, it's gray. It's the finish of the paint that the builder did. They did a matte gray. So we are not able to clean off any stains if you start to clean too hard the entire paint starts to come off and it is insane um but anyway so i redid the kitchen island it wasn't the biggest project i literally got it done within a few hours but i love how it turned out as usual pricing wise for the material i actually only spent 32 dollars on material which was pretty much just the md boards um mdf boards and then paint, I already had white paint that we used um, when we redid the powder room. So I just used that paint. So I didn't have to buy any paint. And then as you guys know, tools, I already have all the tools. So yeah, 30, $32 and some change. So $33 is what I spent to redo the kitchen island. And I swear, I love how it turned out. Um, I also do wish I would have done a different color other than white. And the reason for that is because obviously white I like oh, white accent walls do look nice however they don't pop out as much as when you use an actual color so i am in the process of convincing my husband to just like repaint the entire house at some point um so i do wish kind of wish i would have done a different color i honestly thought about doing black but i'm just not that bold to do black so maybe later in the future but anyways long story short i love how it turned out it was it was such an affordable easy diy i feel like anybody can do it um you can mess with the design a big time but yeah i'm gonna go ahead be quiet and let's go ahead and get into this diy so here we go starting with the kitchen island as you guys can tell it has stains on it and that is the reason why i hate this paint and why i am doing the island so first we are measuring the brackets that the island has that way i can go ahead and cut them on the mdf board and kind of puzzle it on there also we did notice that there are a lot of parts or like there's yeah parts of the kitchen island where there's like um it looks like they just kind of patch stuff up um, and they just didn't sand it down properly so my husband was just kind of trying to take that off making it smooth so that the MDF board could go on properly just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here so then next I went ahead, took the board out outside, grabbed the jigsaw and then just cut out those pieces that's where the brackets are going to go. Um, I did need help from my dad because I haven't used a jigsaw by myself. This is actually the first time that I was using it so he did help me out so shout out to my dad for coming through with that help. Um, for this specific project, you don't necessarily need a miter saw. I feel like all the cuts can be done with a jigsaw because it's not a big project however we do have a miter saw so we did use it for like the actual edge cuts but for the small ones we did just use the jigsaw So once I was done with all the cuts, we went ahead, took it inside, and then I started nailing in the board. Um, I highly suggest this cordless nail gun. If you guys saw the last video where we did our bedroom, we were using a nail gun that needed a compressor and that was not fun it made super big holes and compared to this one like the holes were so tiny and easy to fill in then we went ahead and did the bottom the bottom we didn't have to do any cuts um just at the end you guys will see in a little bit there was a tiny piece it was just a tiny bit shorter so i did have to cut a small piece but other than that it was such an easy process to do this project Stay here forever. 
So then here we go, sideboards, again, nothing special, no type of crazy cuts. All the cuts were completely straight. It was such a simple project, I will not get tired of saying that. Um, I just did a border around the entire kitchen island. I didn't do anything on the sides, you guys will see um, in the end. I didn't want to mess with them because the corners are rounded. And again, I am just starting, I am fresh to these DIYs, so I didn't want to mess too much with it. And then here we were debating on the design, whether we should do two boards or one. Um, we had a thicker one and a thinner one. The original plan was to just do one of the thin ones, but we actually ended up going for a thick one and a thin one. Everybody singing, oh, I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. And then here I ended up just cutting a board kind of like this well not kind of but the size that I wanted the squares if you guys saw the video where I did my bedroom I totally learned my lesson as far as like doing these squares so I did use a board to make sure that all my squares were the same size or I should say close to the same size because I honestly just could not get it even as you can tell this last one is a bit smaller but it still worked out. It looks really good. You can't really even tell. Um, but anyway, so here I am doing the doubles. So what I did, again, I used a wider and a thinner board just to kind of, I guess, make more of a design. Again, I love the way it turned out. And it was, again, such an easy project. As long as we're together, everything will do. You got me going on. And then for the final part, the paint, I know that I have been raving about this uh, paint spray gun. Uh, I love it so much. I, this, by the way, this is not sponsored. I did buy this with my own money, but it makes the process of painting so much easier, painless. Um, obviously you do still have to cover up some, but it does not make a mess to where like I needed to cover the entire thing. Everything came out so nice and clean. Again, I definitely recommend this sprayer. It feels like I'm drunk on ya. It feels like I'm drunk on ya. Oh! Alright, so moment of truth, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looked before, and then right after that, I will show you the after. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. So again, not a huge DIY, not like this is a really big thing, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I feel like it gives it more of like just you know, it gives it more of like a better look. Um, again, you can always mess with your design. I didn't I honestly didn't want anything too crazy. I had thought about doing shiplap on the um kitchen island, just like straight shiplap. But I like more of like the modern look. I've always loved, I do like far, like modern farmhouse, but I honestly just, I'm more of just like modern period. Um, so I didn't want to add shiplap. I just wanted to do something very basic, simple, more like on the modern. 
um, side. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. As per usual, everything that I use will be linked in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I usually always do my best to answer them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye.